Okay, here we're going to look at adaptations in reproductive strategies here. So starting with life history of adaptations in general. Well, life history is the complete life cycle of an animal. Here we're looking at the uh, salmon. Life histories are diverse with many different organisms having different adaptations to their environments. Chose the salmon here as they choose to run up to, uh, freshwater streams up to where they were born. Uh, you can see that they end up spawning in extremely shallow water. Uh, considering this is a fish that spends most of its life out in the open ocean, uh, it does run up to these extremely shallow, gravelly kind of beds to spawn. I've seen an example of a life history adaptation to get away from some predators here that gives its fry or its small um, babies here a chance at survival before entering and spending most of their life in the ocean. Now, life history adaptations, there's two main key ones that we want to focus on. There's something called R-selected, and the next one's going to be K-selected. So let's spend a moment here on R-selected adaptations. These R-selected adaptations are populations that favor exponential growth model. They have a very high rate of increase, and they're followed by a rapid rate of decrease. So it's kind of like the boom-bust model here of adaptations, where they have a rapid rate of increase, they have a rapid rate of decrease. Our selective reproductive strategies are more opportunistic. They have a short maturation period and also a short lifespan. Example here would be the mosquito. They have many small offspring and usually one early uh, reproductive cycle. They have no parental care and a very high death rate. So you can see that here with ladybugs, mosquitoes would be examples. Some see uh, rabbits can implode it, um, multiply at a very rapid rate, uh, and they can have a massive decrease in population sometimes too. More evident here with our mosquitoes and insects here, where we have a very short lifespan, no parental care, and sadly a very high death rate. Now, in contrast to that, these are the R selected. So, in contrast to R selected, we have something called K selected adaptations. These are populations that experience competitive um, logistic curve of growth, and they favor reproduction near the carrying capacity. It's their general adaptations. Case selected individuals have a long maturation and lifespan. An example would be elephants here, bears, and whales. They have few but large offspring and usually several late reproductive cycles. They have extensive parental care and as a result of that, a very low death rate. So keep in mind, you want to be able to compare case selected adaptations uh, to the, in contrast that, the R selected ones what animals may fall on this and why that's advantageous for them, and in contrast to that, what animals may fall in their case selected and why it's advantageous for those individuals. Looking in general here at parental care strategies, most natural populations exhibit a combination of the RK adaptations. We're going to look at two extreme examples here. So based on my little kind of more R selected, more K selected, we're going to look at the kind of the species of barnacles and oysters, for example. They can produce about 500 million fertilized eggs per year. And they invest energy into producing as many offspring as possible. But as a result, they provide no parental care. And as a result, have very small portions of that 50 million here actually survive. Species such as gorillas, they only give birth approximately once every five years. However, they invest a significant amount of time and energy into ensuring the survival of their offspring. So in this case, the gorillas and chimpanzees, they choose to have less offspring, but put more energy into care. Oysters and barnacles put no energy into care, and they just put all their energy into uh, odds of producing as many individuals as possible. You can see here the frog and the rabbits are kind of more in the middle here. Uh, chimpanzees and gorillas being one extreme, and oysters and barnacles being the other when it comes to parental care strategies. And both of these are able to succeed in the um, global environment, but you could see that their strategies are very different.